I come in peace. <laughs> Right, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the red light laser therapy helmet and talking about red light laser therapy, what it is, how it works on hair loss, how it stimulates hair growth, and a general review on the different product, my perspective and opinion on the helmet. So red light laser therapy, which is different to LED lights, which are those masks that you can get, and they're just LED light, whereas red light laser therapy are actually lasers that irritates photons into scalp tissue, and your scalp tissues and your hair follicles absorb this red light, and they're absorbed by the weak cells which are encouraged to grow hair and encourage hair growth. The therapy has been FDA approved. It's obviously less invasive than hair transplant surgery. It is supposed to invigorate circulation and stimulation which helps the hair follicles to grow. So there are many devices on the internet. So the one I have is the Collagenius Hair and Growth Hair Laser. This retails at £450 on nostress.com. There's also the Hair Max Laser Comb. There's also the Red Store Mac Hat as well. And there's also the iGrow Laser Helmet, which is a rejuvenation system. And it also retails around £450, which would be around $500 for both of those helmets. So it is extremely expensive. You can also go to specific salons or clinic that do these sorts of treatments and they normally cost around £250 or $300 per session. So within the scientific community, there are mixed opinions on the effectiveness of using red light laser therapy. There's a lot of research that needs to be done and just because it's FDA approved doesn't necessarily mean it's actually work or that it's actually good for you. So there have been two studies. There was one done in 2014, which was shown to be safe and an effective hair loss treatment for both women and men. And there was also a 2013 study that showed 41 men aged 18 to 48 found that the laser hair treatment increased their hair growth by 39% increase over 16 weeks. So some of the pros is that it's non-invasive, there are no side effects that we know of, and it increases hair strength. Some of the cons is that it's time consuming. So the way that this helmet works is you leave it on for 25 minutes every single day. The suggestion is to use this every other day because when you're providing your hair follicles with the red light laser therapy and your cells that then use the light to stimulate hair growth, overloading the cells over a course of two days can actually be detrimental. So it's always good to do it the every other day. So again, that's pretty time consuming to remember to put this helmet on every single day. It's not the most fashionable accessory. So it is quite expensive for the price and it's not guaranteed result. The long-term safety of it hasn't been established. So it hasn't been around long enough to actually establish whether it is safe to use. If you are taking medication that is photosensitizing, so you're more uh, sensitive to light, this can interfere with those types of medications. I I wouldn't recommend using the red light laser therapy. My personal experience with the helmet is I used it around nine months with no other treatments. I just solely used the red light laser therapy and the results that I saw, there was a small amount of growth. My hair was a little bit thicker, but I didn't see like a drastic change. And there has been a lot of people that have said it works for some people and sometimes it doesn't work for some people and it shouldn't be the main source of your treatment for hair loss. So that's one thing is it can be a good good additional booster to your anti-hair loss regime and I think for me personally the derma roller plus the uh, miracle oils that I talk about in my prior videos which I'll link in the description and I'll link to the video right now but what I will say is I personally don't think the results that I got was worth the money that I spent on the helmet. So I would definitely invest in a derma roller, which costs £10, $10, and you're gonna see way more growth than I saw with just using the red light laser helmet. If you do have the money and you did want to try out the helmet, because it has worked for some people, there have been some people that have seen great results, uh, you wanna try it out, I would recommend getting the helmet. And you wanna make sure you wanna get a helmet that has uh, laser diodes rather than LED diodes. 
diodes LED lights because the LED light is going to be penetrative enough for your scalp. You want to use the laser, that's why it's called red light laser therapy. The LED lights, it, it's good to have a mixture of both, but the most important is to have the diodes, the laser diodes. And the Collagenius, I did my research, and the Collagenius was the one that had a good amount of laser diodes. I wouldn't recommend the comb because that's going to be really time consuming unless you have very a small patch of hair loss then go for the comb and it's cheaper as well but I just don't think the comb is a good investment for your hair loss journey. You charge this after every six sessions or so, you put it on your head, it's a little bit uncomfortable, it's quite heavy but it's fine. I normally put it on and I do things but I haven't been using it over the past uh, six months or so. I'll use it here and there because I didn't see much results and I saw way more results using the Dermaroller and the oils and uh, changing my diet. Other thing I forgot to mention is that you will need to do the therapy for the rest of your life. So, which is like most treatments on the market, like minoxidil and finished dried pill, you need to take that for the rest of your life. So, I just think the amount of time you need to put into actually using the laser helmet, I just think you could spend it doing other things that would be more effective, but it's a good addition to the overall hair loss regimen. In. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for this review. I will link everything in the description, including studies, including this helmet, and let me know in the comments if there's a hair loss treatment that you want me to review or you want me to talk about. It'd be great to hear from you guys just to see what you guys are interested in, or if there is a treatment that's really worked for you. I would love to hear in the comments below. Please let me know. And I'm gonna take this off now. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up just so I know to keep making this type of content for you guys. Until next time, bye! To infinity and beyond! <laughs>